Good morning, everybody. I am Peter Lang, and I am going to be your teacher for today and for the rest of the semester. Today, we are going to study mathematics, and the topic that we will discuss will be 0 to 10. The numbers from 0 to number 10. So kids, prepare your mind as we explore more things about mathematics, numbers, and the story in it. The topic that we will discuss will be numbers 0 to 10. So to begin this class, we are going to sing a song first. Let's sing and enjoy the counting 1 to 10 song. Let's go! The Singing Walrus Counting from 1 to 10 Alright, did you enjoy that song? I hope you did because we're going to have another activity that will be more fun. Let's go! This game is called Balloon Burst. We are going to spell the numbers by bursting the balloon. So let's begin! Burst the balloon in the correct order to spell the word. One, how do we spell one? Hmm. Oh. The first letter is O. <gasps> and the second letter is N. And E, where's the E? Yay, we got it. So let's go to the next number. Number two, letter T. Um, w, W, where's the W? Yay, we got it. Where's letter O? Hit it. <laughs> it's, what? Let's go to the next number. Number three. How do we spell three? Um, it begins to letter T with that T. H H H H. R. Where's the R R R R? Ah! E. And another E. We got it. And next one. Four. How do we spell four? It begins with letter four. F. Letter four. Letter F. Letter O. Letter U, where's the letter U? This one! And letter R. Where's the letter R? This one! 
The next one, number five. How do we spell number five? It begins letter F and then I. Where's the letter I? Yoo-hoo! Are you there? I. Got it. And letter V. 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 And letter E. It's the E. Oh, got it. Yay! So the next one, number six. It begins with letter S. Where's the letter S? Boom. Letter I. I. Yay. And letter X. Where's the letter X? X. Boom. <laughs> so let's go to number seven. How do we spell it? Hmm. Letter S. Where's the letter S? Letter S. Letter S. And letter E. 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 <laughs> letter V. V. E. Hmm. This one. Got it. And letter N. Where's the letter N? Yay! We got number six, seven. So let's go to number eight. How do you spell eight? Hmm. If you get to the letter A, and then I. It's the I. I. Hmm. This one. Got it. Letter G. E I G. E I G. Got it. E I G H. E I G H. Where's the letter H? H. <laughs> letter H. And the last letter is letter T. So where is the letter T? Got it. <laughs> and the next one is number nine. So how do we spell nine? It begins with letter N. And then I. Where's the letter I? Boom. Oh! Then N. Then E. Where's the E? Yay! Wow, we are on the last number. So let's begin with letter T. Where is it? Did you see the letter T? Is this letter T? It is. And the next letter is E. N. Where's the letter N? Got it. We got it. Okay. So since we are done with singing a song and playing a game, we're now going to the main lesson. Are you excited to learn? Because Teacher Lang is so excited to teach you. So let's begin. We're gonna read a short story about a life of a kid named Harvey. So let's read it all together. Last summer holidays, Harvey's parents took him to his grandparents' farm. There were lots of animals on the farm. He enjoyed feeding the animals, collecting duck and, duck and chicken eggs, and counting them. Let's see what Harvey saw during his wide exploration. So let's join Harvey in walking and exploring the entire farm. And while walking, let's write what we saw. While he walked, he saw one horse running around. So let's write it on a notebook. One horse. O-N-E-H-O-R-S-E. -E. One horse. And then, while he is walking, he saw two cute cats. So let's write it on our book. Two cats. T W O C A T S. Two cats. And then, as he walks around, and then he went to a place where he saw three white geese. So let's write on our notebook. Three geese. T H R E E G E E S E. Three geese. Yes. All right. And then while he walked around again, walk and walk and walk, he heard some dogs barking. And then he counted them. One, two, three, four. There were four dogs. So let's write on our notebook four dogs. F O U R D O D S. Four dogs. And then he went walking again. And then there, he saw five cows. Let's write 
on our notebook. F-I-V-E-C-O-W-S. Five cows. And then he continued walking until he saw a group of animals walking in one line. And then he realized that those are ducks. And then he counted it. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six ducks walking in line. So let's write it on our notebook. S I X D U C K S. Six ducks. So let's go. Let's join him and continue walking. While walking, he looked up high. He looked at the sky. And then he saw seven birds. There are seven birds flying up the sky. And then, as he continued, marching, walking, marching, he saw eight chickens. Let's write it on our notebook. Eight chickens. E-I-G-H-T-C-H-I-C-K-E-N-S. Eight chickens. And then, he was so amazed by the next thing that, by the next animal that he saw. Those are rabbits. And then, he counted them. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine rabbits. And they are so cute and clean. So let's write on our book. Nine rabbits. N I N E R A B B I T S nine rabbits and then lastly as he sit down on the bench while resting he saw some fish swimming on the lake and then he counted them and he found out that there are ten fish on the lake they are swimming joyfully. So now, let's picture in our mind some objects according to the following numbers. First, we have 1. Let's give some examples with the number 1. Teacher Lance will give first. I have here 1 watermelon. Can you see the watermelon? This is it. All right, and the next one, we have one tree. One tree. Okay, there is one tree in here. Tree is big and tall. And the next thing that we have here is one kale. Look, the kale is so fresh. So what about you? Can you give me an object? with the number one very good so let's go to the next one so now we have here the next number number two we have two books two books do you read books do you love reading books reading books can help you boost your knowledge if you read and read you're gonna be smarter in the next one we have two rulers rulers are used for measuring things do you have a ruler very good i hope you have because one day we're going to use that in our lesson the next one that we have here are two rubbers these rubbers are erasers we use it when we wrote something incorrectly. Now, how about you? Can you give me something that has the number 2? Any example will do. I will accept that, especially if it comes from you. Very good. So let's go to the number 3. So we have here things that we put water on. The first one are Three glasses. We have here three glasses. We use glasses in drinking. Actually, all of the examples we have in number three are used 
for drinking water. The first one, when we're at home, we usually use it in drinking. Three glasses. And the next example that we have are three tumblers. We usually bring in at school or at the park so that we could make sure that the water that we drink is clean. So these are three tumblers. And the last example that we have are three bottles. We usually use it when we buy water from the store. We buy bottled water. Okay, so that is all for today. I hope that you learned something from Peter Lang. And also, I hope that you enjoyed this class. Thank you and God bless. Goodbye!